Hello my dear family members, I know all of you are curious about the latest questions of TCS and QT. If those are hard or easy, if those are time taking questions or not, etc, etc. That's why today I'll solve all of your issues, right? Now I'll show you some questions which were asked in TCS and QT on 29th April. So let's get started. But before we proceed, I would recommend you to have the prime materials of TCS and QT in which I have included all the previous year questions, previous year coding questions, advance, and all the questions and mock test as well, right? So please knock me at my star ID is You will get it. Okay. So let's start with the first question. That is, what is the unit digit in 2 to the power 2 to the power 22? I hope you know how to solve. If you know, then please give the answer in the comment section. If you don't know, then let me show you how to solve those problem easily, right? So, if this has been asked, then always remember 4 to the power odd, 4 to the power odd digit is equal to 4, right? The unit digit will be 4. And if the number is Num if the number can be represented as 4 to the power even, then the unit digit will be 6, right? And if the number can be represented as 7 to the power 4n, then the unit digit will be 1, right? So, in this way, you can, uh, you can represent this number as 4 to the power odd or 4 to the power even or 7 to the power 4n and it will get the unit digit very easily right so let me show you so in this case 2 to the power 2 right that means okay so 2 to the power 2 to the power 22 so 2 to the power 2 means 4 right and 4 to the power 22 which is an even number so for 4 to the power even the unit digit will be 6 right so uh, whatever the options you have to tick on 6 right okay so let me show you another problem from unit digit so that it will be more clear to you so let's say okay so let me clear it so let's say the number is 464 to the power uh, 615 multiplied by 2331 to the power 1793 multiplied by 2347 to the power uh, 491 right if the number is this then in this case unit digit is 4 4 to the power 615 multiplied by 1 to the power 1793 and multiplied by 7 to the power 491 right 491 so how would you represent this this is 1 right so we don't have to calculate this but 4 to the power 615 so this is 4 to the power odd uh, this can be represented as 4 to the power odd right so this will be 1 and this will also be sorry 4 to the power odd means 4 right uh, the unit digit will be 4 and 1 to the power 1793 means 1 right and in this case 7 to the power 491 how would you represent that so we can write 7 to the power 49 as 7 to the power let's say 400 then multiplied by 7 to the power uh, 88 and 7 to the power 3 right so 400 plus 88 plus 3 that is for uh, that is 491 so we can represent 7 to the power 491 as this right so we can say 7 to the power 400 is in in the form of 7 to the power 4n right 4n means 4 into 100 and this 88 is also can be represented as uh, 4 what uh, 7 to the power 4n 7 to the power 4 multiplied uh, 4 multiplied 22 right so this is also can be represented as 7 to the power 4n so this becomes 1 this becomes 1 but 7 to the power 3 that is no, that cannot be represented as 7 to the power 4n so we have to calculate what is the value of 7 to the power cube that is 343 so in this case the unit digit will be 3 right so we know that 7 to the power cube means 343 so the unit digit is 3 so we have written this so the number will be 
4 multiplied by 3 that is 12 and the unit digit will be 2 right so this type of problem mainly asked in tcs nqt from unit digit so you have to just remember uh, 4 to the power odd if, if you can represent the number as 4 to the power odd then the unit digit will be 4 if you can represent you can represent the number as 4 to the power even then the then the unit digit will be 6 or if you can represent uh, the number as 7 to the power 4 n then the unit digit will be 1 right so just remember that this will be more clear okay so let's go to the next question so this question is a quick question for you please solve the problem this is from speed uh, and distance so a man can row a boat downstream in 14 km in 2 hours and 15 km in 3 hours in upstream find ratio of speed of boat and speed of water so answer is given but please solve the questions within very few very few seconds so that uh, you can manage the time in actual exams right okay so let me go to the next question that is this find the odd one out so let me solve the problem before i solve i hope you are solving the problems okay so i hope you know what are the place value of each letters right if you don't know then please watch the previous videos of tcs nqt access the playlist of tcs nqt you will get the answers i mean you will get the place value how to know that how to know the shortcut and tricks right okay so find the odd one out in this case we have to know the place value very much right because let me uh, show you uh b y q right so b y w sorry w and uh, what u x c u x c and e t o and d t u right so b is 2 y is 25 and w is 23 right w x y z right and u is 21 under under 21 x is what uh, sorry c is 3 and x is 24 right and e is what e5 and o is 15 t is 20 t 20 right and d means 4 t means 20 u means 21 right i hope you know how to remember these right b means b means 2 y means 25 w means 23 and u means under 21 x means 24 and c means 3 e 5 t 20 o 15 d 4 t 20 u under 21 so as you can see the pattern that is 2 plus 23 is 25 21 plus 3 that is 24 5 plus 15 that is 20 and 4 plus 21 that should be 20 5 but this is 20 so this is the odd right so dtu should be removed from this pattern that means this is the odd so odd this uh, that means you have to tick on that right so dtu will be the correct answer okay so the next question is this this is also a quick question for you that is let's say one has traveled one or uh, one fourth distance with uh, 59 km per hour another one fourth with 60 so calculate total average speed robin travels so uh, just you have to calculate the total average speed right so the, average, uh, the answer is given still try to solve the problem within very few seconds so that you can manage the time right okay so the next question is in a certain code language frog is written as 634 then how boss will be coded as so let me show you how will you solve this problem okay so frog right so how frog can be written as 634 so let me show you so frog f r o g so f is 6 r is right to vote that is 18 o is 15 g is 7 g 7 submit so if you square those and add those let me see if this becomes 634 or not so 6 square means 36 18 squares means 324 and 15 square means 225 and 7 square means 49 right 
so if you just add those quickly so this becomes 9 4 14 plus 4 18 plus 6 uh that means 4 and uh 2 plus 4 that is 6 plus 2 that is 8 plus 2 10 plus 3 3 and 1 3, 3 through 5 and 6 634 okay so this becomes 634 so can this logic be okay with boss so let me see it so boss right so b is 2 o is 15 s is 19 and s is 19 right so 2 if you square this this becomes 4 15 squares means 225 and 19 squares means uh 361 19 square means 361 sorry 361 right if you add those this becomes 951 right so this will be the correct answer okay so let me go to the next question that is this the average of these 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 and uh, actually i i am i have been suffering from fever that's why I will prefer you to go through the questions whatever I have written here these are actual questions asked in TCS and QT so give important those I am just going to show you the questions right so these are the questions please pause and try to solve the problems okay so in the next video I will show all the coding questions which were asked in TCS and QT on 29th April 28th April and 26th April as well, right? In a single video, I am going to cover all the coding questions. Okay, so these are the total questions which I had to show you. So I hope this much of information was also helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding TCS and QT. And if you want more such content, then please comment down that you want and please motivate me by sharing these videos with your friends right and if you want the prime materials of tcs and qt then let me know in the comment section or you can knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tuf you will get it okay so thank you for today's session